One Laser is a US-based company located in Orange County, California. And what we do at One Laser is we design and engineer innovative laser systems. And in today's video, we're gonna show you the three main steps to setting up your XRF, which would be the physical setup, the light burn setup, and the first cut. After receiving your XRF and removing all the packaging materials, you want to find a sturdy workbench to put your XRF, and we recommend about two people for the job. Once the machine is on a sturdy workbench, you want to make sure the machine is off before plugging it into a single phase 110 outlet. Then you're going to want to connect your exhaust system to the 4 inch duct port on the back of the machine. And if you plan on using the internal camera on our XRF, you can plug in the USB type A cord onto the back of our machine. We have a labeled port for that as well. So the next step will be plugging in your USB type B cord into your computer and into the back of the machine labeled PC. Now you're gonna release the emergency stop located on the side of the machine. It's a big red knob. And on the back of the machine, you will finally turn on your XRF. And that's gonna be it for the physical setup of the XRF. Next, we're gonna move on to the light burn configuration steps. First, you're gonna to wanna to install the light burn software and then enter your license key, which you can also purchase on our website. You're gonna to wanna to choose a material. We recommend wood or acrylic for our beginners. And once you choose your material and you have it, go ahead and place it on the workbench. And then you're gonna to wanna to add your device. Under your device list, you can click Find My Laser. And under device info, make sure you click the serial USB and you can go ahead and add your device. And here you can make sure you click on your device and make it the default device. And okay. And in order to add your design, go ahead and click on file on the top left, import, and then find your file wherever you have it stored. And once your file is imported, you're gonna to want to choose your origin location. We recommend the top left, but you can choose anywhere you want. And next you can click on the frame button. And after importing your design, you can set your engraving parameters, such as speed, power, and your layer type in the layer editor on the top right. And on the top of the screen on the toolbar, you can click the little TV to preview your work and you can choose the playback speed to see what it would look like. And after you're satisfied with all the options for your design, you can go ahead and click start. So the next step in the first cut process would be to jog the machine over the material, hit the auto focus button, and then find your desired home location. After finding your desired home position, you're gonna to wanna to hit the frame button. This is just to ensure your design stays on the material. And the last step is pretty simple. All you gotta do is hit the start button and watch the laser go. And if you guys had any additional questions, you can go ahead and contact our technical support team at cs at onelaser.com. That's gonna be it for the XRF setup and completing your first cut. Thanks so much for watching.